<laughs> oh my god. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching You, Season 2, Episode 3. Now, in the last episode, we got to meet Jasper. He seemed like a really nice dude, but turns out he doesn't fuck around and Joe found out. <laughs> you fuck around and you find out, right? So, he cut Joe's goddamn finger off, like the, pe the tip of his pinky off. And then he went on like this goose chase to get the money and everything like that. Will owed Jasper and stuff. And then eventually he was like, you know what, Jasper, just here's Will, how? Well, and then Jasper was like, look, he doesn't even have my money. So he's, and then Joe pulled a Dexter and killed Jasper because, well, Jasper was going to try and kill him because he wasn't about to get the money. So it's like, okay. So Joe grabbed the knife and stabbed him. And he threw a body in the dumpster. I don't think that'll come back around, honestly. I think that's good. I think that storyline's over. Him and Love got into a fight, but then I'm pretty sure they like reconciled later and like they're good now. But they said they're just going to be friends and they're going to take things slow. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much what happened in the last episode. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as an early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way. But we're making it work, love. <laughs> it's, it simple. Yeah, it's before you guys start fucking. <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> Just friends. Yeah, bro. No, no, you're not. And it's for the best. Can you imagine what I'd do to Calvin if we were together? Mm. Or worse, what I might do to you? It's not that I don't want to. <laughs> Dude. <sighs> but the last time I loved someone, I can't risk repeating history. Dude, this, this friends mean, thing they're doing, it's not gonna last. <laughs> like, they're both just gonna cave. Platonic. Safe. <laughs> Just yeah, see, friends. No. No, dude. They're definitely gonna fuck in this episode. 100%. What you're telling me, it would be easier for you and this chick to <laughs> smash? Don't. Yeah, he's talking to Will about it. That's all funny. Venting to him about it. You can talk to me. The least you can do is talk to me. You're living under a false name in a new city. Maybe you could use a friend too. Like I said, I already have a friend. How about a Heritage Grain Bowl for lunch? I feel bad for Will, dude. He's just trapped in there. Did he even do anything wrong? Well, he sent Joe on that goose chase for like his pills and stuff. Like, told him, oh, you can go get the money from this guy. Kind of got Jasper sent on him. But, well, like, the reason why he's in there is like not on him. It's just Joe panicked. It's so, like, yeah. Baking is how I express my love. Don't do that. Ah, fine, yes. 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 Oh my, you cook when you're happy, and you only bake when you're frustrated. Let me guess, uh, Will Bettelheim flaked on you? Uh, yeah. Does he even exist? Dude, she's gonna be so mad when, I, I guarantee you she'll find out his real name is Joe. And she's gonna be so mad. Are the red flags, then yeah, you gotta take your cues from him. Yeah. Or radical mm -hmm. idea, Bumble. True. No. Dude, Bumble sucks. <laughs> rip cord. Yeah. We'll see. Nah, she doesn't wanna rip the cord on him. You're a writer. Director, producer, but writer first. Um, it's LA. He's not interested in me. He needs me to be interested in him. No, mm -hmm. actually is set to produce and my dear friend, Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh. I need to win this guy over. Structure. A good story cannot be devised. It has to be distilled. Wait, you want you to write him a story? Write him a good story? Exactly. Sport. Come with me to Harold Knight after work. I'm talent scouting. Bra request for one William Bettelheim. Gotta go. Gotta go. Joe, don't follow him back. Don't show, don't follow him back. <laughs> Humble as ass. <laughs> nah, you gotta, you gotta. That may have won a grand jury prize at Sundance, and he hasn't done a thing since. Your brother is a sycophantic, fame-grubbing Hollywood has-been. Got a special treat for you. It's a secret set. One you may know. I knew it. <laughs> Chris Adelia. So just like five minutes, I promise. It's just long enough for me to reconnect with Andy. Okay, hey, hang on a second. From what you know, is he, is he a good guy? Oh yeah, he's like the best. Kind of a party monster. Um, and the cancer like really set him on like a higher path. Just, um, I just have some business with Henderson. Yeah, so I'm gonna. You got some balls, Quinn. Oh no. Does, Hen does Hendy hate him? Do they have like a fallout? I'm sure if you just let me speak to him. What, you're gonna let her through? Was she 13? 
Are you serious, man? Ellie. Yeah, she's 15. What? She's actually 15. Oh, no. I Let's just go. I would follow your brother, but I think you'd agree I need to follow the unprotected 15-year-old first. No candy from strangers, huh? <laughs> okay, bro. Ellie. What are you doing here? What are you, following me? No, I was at the show. Why? You're not funny. <laughs> Listen, I have to ask. Uh, hanging out with Henderson, what? you know your, your sister has history with him. Oh my god. Yeah, of course I know she slept with him. He's one of a hundred, she's one of a thousand. Ooh. I'm not hanging out. I'm chasing an intern from her contacts. Don't you dare tell her. Ellie, you know guys like that? Guys like what? Wait, let me guess. She called him a perv. Yeah, call that half the fucking cast of Sesame Street, okay? Mm. It's her go-to. Dude, it's so gross how he's doing that with ketchup. I, I like ketchup, don't get me wrong, but like too much of it, I'm like, no, no. You need to see a shrink because you are fooling yourself. <laughs> yep. I'm quoting my shrink. Oh. Both my mom and my fiance are very withholding. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you married? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's Gigi. She lives in the Philippines. Is this the one you sent all your money to? Yes. Yeah, man, I told you. Have you ever met her? We met online. <laughs> oh, you never met her. One day, we'll meet in person. <laughs> God. 100% disqualified from giving me relationship advice. Mm-hmm. Hey, and while you're at it, take her name and give mine back to me. I feel like Will in the cage. He's gonna find out who. Oh, well, he's connected to love somehow. Hello. It's gonna. They're gonna connect each other somehow. I'm already drooling. Shit. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Use. Oh, great. Three-hour project. I'll get right on that. Damn. Oh, she's mad at him, dude. She's mad. This is weird, right? Or if you don't. You're right. This is weird. Why is she mad at him? We're 40? Because what happened with 40? Nothing bad happened, though. Did he, like, t say some shit about Joe to her? I still don't know what you expected. Hmm. Yo, what'd he do, bro? He did something. He told her something, dude. My sister, I could make life very difficult for you at the store. Bro, I'm not working here. Is that No. Like, if we break up, I'm not working here anymore. They have this killer idea for, like, a psychological thriller set in the world of celebrity rehab. <laughs> We'd love to hear all about it. I think you just cracked it. Are you, are you a writer? Mm, yeah, he's going to want Joe to be a writer. Maybe in my attempt to give you space, our friendships become one-sided. Are you or are you not dicking around with him? Not exactly discreet. How much did you pay Will to follow me? What are you talking about? Fuck. The house manager texting me. She's one of my tipsters. She's gonna go bitch out, Will. Joe. I don't even know what happened between you two because you won't tell me anything about it. Maybe because there's nothing to tell. Hey, not everything is a story, okay? You think everyone is damaged because you're damaged. You made it your full-time job. Damn. Her heart's in the right place. I just wish I could trust Delilah to protect her little sister. Full disclosure, I put some family-friendly spyware on the new phone I gave her. <laughs> oh my god. That means not turning a blind eye to obvious cries for help from a child. Fence, she's smarter than her chuckle buddies. Bottom line though, Henderson's correspondence seems as benign. She texting Henderson or something? And all of their texts are about films, which brings us okay. to tonight's, I gotta say. Bring your munchies. From total junk every morning. No, Joe, don't do that. Don't do that. I stole it from work. Don't tell my boss. She's gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Fancy. Huh? Yeah, it's a bunch of junk under there. Merci. Et voila. Um, you know, it's, not, it's not the worst. That's... Not had this since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. 40 put you up to this. This is an art. Okay, it's worked out. You know, well, uh, it's pathetic anyway. Oh, she's gonna kiss him, she's gonna kiss him, yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not mean for this to be romantic. Thought he was about to faint. Are you kidding? I mean, look at this. 
Your mind, childhood memories, you know? And I told you that's stupid and giving me zero credit. I think you are. I care about your actions, what, mm -hmm. what you do. It's good. The mixed signals, mm -hmm. I mean. Very mixed. Peak shitty. Oh. God damn it, Joe. You should have just went with it, dog. You should have just. Like, Joe, she went in the kiss you, dog. Oh, she's throwing up. Oh, that's Ellie. Ellie coughing. Subtitle. She drunk or something? I'd like to ask if you're okay, but I don't want to be accused of hitting on you. What do you care? I don't want the plants to be over water. <laughs> she takes some drugs with Hendy. Oh and she's... Shut up about Henderson. Oh, yeah, okay, my bad. What do you mean? We were all watching a movie. Snacks. Edibles. Shit, you can't tell my sister. She'll blow things way out of proportion. Please don't tell her. I won't tell Delilah. I'll just have to do the parenting myself. Okay. Joe's such a con uh, Joe is such a fucking control freak. God. But one time I took I've taken an edible once in my life. Worst fucking idea I've ever had in my entire life, okay? It was the worst experience ever. I'll never do it again. Other than altruism, like sense of self worth, some proof you're a good person. Mm-hmm. Me? I will know you are a bad person. And I have no trouble doing bad things to bad people. I bow to your superior self justification. Okay, Batman. I could probably hack the man, but first I require two things. Okay, for a fucking computer. What's the other thing? A second laptop with mm -hmm. Wi Fi. Not a chance. Yeah. Joe can't risk him reaching out to anyone. Really funny how you only seem to care about transparency when you have nothing going on. You keep glomming onto people thinking that's what's gonna make you successful. Mm. Will can't help you. You need to help you. Yeah. Why don't you just do the work? Yes. Or maybe you're threatened by the possibility that Will and I could become closer than you ever could. Good game. Yeah. yeah. Write a script. Get Jack Top to Will. Not my first rodeo, thank you, Peach, but this one. <laughs> Shallow pitched, exposed wood ceilings, and very high walls. Mm, how, how is Joe going to get in this one? I need to be invited in. Mm -hmm. No, I need to befriend somebody on the edge of fame. Henderson's pre celeb pals. And what better place to find a Oh, imp the improv. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the crowd he came in after. But in order to become an insider in the cult of improv, I've got to speak the lingo. Mm -hmm. Dude, Joe is dedicated. Great show. Oh, thanks, man. You used to be in Wolf Jizz, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, speaking of Hindi, you know about the after show thing in this place? Oh, yeah, you should come. Gate code is D I C K S. That was so easy. What? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? No way. Did he follow me? Yeah. I headed off with someone. You had to have. Yeah, but uh, we'll see. Fuck, it's a 40 is gonna blow Joe's cover. So go ahead. Poor bastard didn't even get an invite. Mm hmm. Fuck. You have to let it. You have to let him in with you now. They're gonna be like, who let 40 in? 40s gonna be like, oh, I'm with Will. And they're like, what the fuck, Will? You know? And then Will, then Henry's gonna like hate Will or something, cause like apparently. Apparently, Handy and Forty aren't cool, so it's like it's gonna cause each problem, you know. Yeah, Forty's gonna go try and talk to her. Go sexual thriller set in a um, a celebrity rehab facility mm -hmm. that I think Henderson would be perfect. Well, you would you would need to know the beginning oh, and the middle. Oh, wow. yeah. sounds so, promising. Yeah, so let's uh, let's set up a meeting. No, we can, uh... well, no, mm -mm. no uh, way. Why? Forty, you know when people talk about having it, mm -hmm. you don't have it. He doesn't have the it factor. Finance indie films or something. You'd be so good. You're so fun. <laughs> Think about it. I love you. I'm trying to protect you. Mwah. I respect her honesty. I mean, bro, he needs a reality check like that. Like, love tried to tell him, not the agent. As he climbed the mountain to become Henderson. Mm -hmm. And how many girls Henderson traumatized once he had all the power. It's Chekhov's knife. Oh, fuck. And as soon oh, never mind. I should leave. I should just leave. Go help Ellie. Let 40 screw 40. All right, but let's just uh, not mix business with pleasure. Let's mm -hmm. just 
call Tina and we'll set up a meet with the both of us. Henderson's mm. trying to help. Yeah. No, Good. As a matter of fact, man. I'm the one that's tired. Uh, actually, everybody, guys, I'm tired. Oh, he's straight on the party. Damn. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck you, young people. I'm in my. <laughs> Did this guy just tank his own party to make yeah. 40 feel better about leaving? Mm-hmm. Okay, like, so you know, Joe's doubting if he's a bad dude now. Hey, buddy, do I know you? Mm -hmm. Party Valley. Oh, the finger guy, right? Yeah. So you know Ellie? Yes. I'm sorry I didn't look after your brother. Too. If 40's fragile, it keeps kicking the shit out of him. He was little. He was confident. So sweet. And this one summer... Forty saw way too much too young. He's a good person. He's just a little... Just just lacks a little bit of uh, self-awareness. He's a little bit better of a work ethic. But those things are fixable, so... And another broken soul. We're a little broken. You know, some pieces still manage to fit together. Okay. Oh. Bro, do you already know it? <laughs> Dude, I told you, I told you. I told you. We have to be quiet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I told you they were gonna fuck by the end of this episode. Bro. Be quiet. Oh no, he's gonna hear it. Josh. <sighs> Take that out of your mouth and shove it in her mouth. This time will be different. I will never hurt you. No. The bad news, the dude was clean. It's impossible. I scrubbed all his files, accounts, search history, Pornhub. Well, I did my job. Giving it some thought, and I don't think false promises is gonna happen. Aw, oh, damn. Man, I really thought that was the one. It was all gonna come up eventually, right? Just wish it hadn't been all over his secret toy room. Hmm. Secret toy room? Hmm. Old prohibition houses with the hidden speakeasy doors. Henderson has transformed it into this whimsical little creepy dungeon. Well, now we gotta go break back in and check out that room. <laughs> nah, it's probably like a sex dungeon or something. Also, we're low key a bit of a fucking sadist in the sack. Yeah, it, okay. That. A secret room. A sex dungeon. I'm disappointed I missed that. Oh, okay. That's, that's the end of the episode. All right. Well, that was season two, episode three of you. See, okay. I like 40. He seems like a good dude. Seems like a really nice dude, but. He just lacks a couple qualities that's holding him back a little bit. So, you know, if he did, if he worked on those a little bit, he he could get somewhere, right? He could get somewhere. See, like, he wants to be a script writer, right? If he just puts in the time and just writes scripts, he'll eventually get better at it. He, re he lacks a work ethic, you know? Like, the agent, like, uh, Hender Henderson's agent. See, okay, what she said was rude. It was pretty honest. It was pretty damn honest. So like you can't you can't really be that mad at her to be honest like he needed to hear that so she just had like a bitchy tone to it so that's why it came off like super rude and like all right you know but no like just her delivery it wasn't the best <laughs> but at the same time 40 he's rich so it's like why does he even need to do this you know he could just chill and whatever but i mean he just he wants to do something you know it's like yeah, being rich, I'm sure being rich is fucking great. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure it is. It would be insanely nice, but yeah, eventually you just get bored and you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. You know, you've done everything there possibly is to do. <laughs> Depending on how much money you have, I guess. But now he's trying to like get involved in something and actually do stuff. But he has all the time in the world to work on this craft and like he's just not doing it. So that's his downfall. And then we got the storyline with Ellie and Joe. See, okay, Joe, he's trying to protect her. He protected Paco so hard from Ron. It's like, oh, he he want, he feels like he needs to do it again for her. And it's like, okay, it's thoughtful, you know? And it's like, the show is trying to like, trying to tell us like, okay, is Hendy a bad dude or not? You know, from what Joe has seen personally from Hendy, he seems like a solid dude, but from Delilah's story, he's a piece of shit. And it's like, okay, Joe's trying to find out if it's true or not. We went through all the shit, went through his jack top, I guess. And then Will in the cage, you know, went through all his accounts, found nothing on him. So it's like, oh, okay. But then, but then 40 mentioned that like secret room. And it's like, he's, 
I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's a sex dungeon and all like his dirt on all the dirt on him is in that room so Joe has to figure out a way to get back in the house and get to that room but the problem is I see with that is like, okay if he throws another party sure you could go through that I mean he knows you so like yeah you should be able to get in you know he he likes you and he likes you so it's like it wouldn't I don't think it'd be the hardest thing in the world to actually get in I think it'd be pretty possible to get in again but then like Hendy might be like oh where's where's will out you know and then he might catch him in this room or something you know so and then if joe like gets caught by hendy then there goes like ellie's internship if and everything and then ellie's gonna like be pissed at him for losing the internship if that does happen but then i feel like if joe gets in that room he's gonna find major dirt on him and find out yeah he is actually a piece of shit and everything so that's where i kind of see that storyline going and then with joe and love I told you guys, I told you guys, they're gonna fuck by the, they're gonna do it by the end of this episode. I told you and they did it. Okay, so it seems to be going pretty good for them, you know. They've had a lot of ups and downs already. <laughs> Not like ups and downs, but like Joe kind of, Joe just says something like he shouldn't have said and then Love gets like mad at him because it was super, because it was, it was just like the wrong thing to say in the moment, so. But they're all good now, so okay. Okay. And he said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I definitely think he will, like it's, it's gonna go bad it it's joe dude it's joe i have no faith in him so but anyways that was you episode season two episode three comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching